Siri. Well, this man is the key to finding her. Yo, mama. Yo, mama. I guess you must the ugliest man alive and the victim of a curse was the key to finding the yeah, 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 we know all this. We know all this. Boom, 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 boom. Can I talk to Jennifer? Geralt? Ever think about the past? About your time with the hunt? At times, I'm amazed we survived. Eridan's not usually one to leave witnesses behind. That's just it. He didn't. Lost my memory when I escaped the hunt. Ah, uh, yes. Your famous amnesia. You didn't have it? For a short time only. Once the Emperor's mages got their hands on me, my memory quickly returned. When the hunt had you, hope they didn't hurt you. Even if they did, I've no memory of it. The whole time's but a string of phantom images. Blood and fire. A wild chase through different worlds. All shrouded in fog. Though I do remember you coming for me. Trading your life for mine. I hadn't the chance to thank you then. <laughs> You'd have done the same for me. I'm touched by your certainty. But you've yet to tell me how you escaped them. Wouldn't mind knowing that myself. There are times I remember rushing forward, red riders around me. Next thing I know, I'm in the woods at the foot of Kaer Morin. That's it. What did Aridin want from you exactly? The same thing he wanted from you. You don't recall? Draw a blank on most of my time with him. We were bait, Geralt. Both of us. Eridan believed Ciri would come for us sooner or later, and he would capture her. Fortunately, she didn't fall for it. How do you go from being the Emperor's hostage to being his ally? One day, the door of my cell opened, and instead of seeing the usual officer, I saw Emir. He promised to release me and grant me free reign of the Imperial Treasury, provided I did what he asked. He told you about Ciri, and you accepted his offer. Why? Shared aims make for strange bedfellows. I knew I had to find Ciri before Eridan did. And if any man had the power and the means to help me, it was the Emperor. Thanks. Besides, once all said and done, he is her father. Why didn't you look for me after you'd recovered your memory and your freedom? I assumed you would recover quickly and find me first. You had mages to help you. I was on my own. Well, not entirely. Besides, I knew you'd fled the hunt. Eridan would never have let you go. He'd erased my memory, but you escaped. It was wholly possible he hadn't had the chance with you. And there were your Witcher mutations. I expected they'd stave off any serious injury. Thanks. See ya. Thanks, Yan. See you later. Ugly baby? No. Hmm. What is this quest? Stay oh. long. Uh, if only Miss Fan could be a hero like that. Vagabond. <gasps> That cap on? Like oh, it's a bad thing. I don't even know what that means. But it is what it is. We keep it moving. We keep it pushing. RPs. Oh no. Focus. 
Just a bunch of monsters. Let's keep moving. Find Hammond. Yeah, we can do that. We can do that. What do you want? I'm looking for Hammond. What for? Business. Keep prayers at the chapel on the hill this time of day. If it's slaves you're looking to buy, you'll have to wait till he's done. He's praying? Wouldn't have thought him a God-fearing man from what I've heard about him. Hmm. Yet it's not something that would surprise any man who knows him. Another snoop. You know the drill. Keep together. Yo. I'm gonna kill everybody. More motherfuckers. Come on, motherfuckers, come on. They combust. Find the shrine where Hammond prays. Just killed an entire village. But the hell is up here? Come on, get out. Make our way to the top. Gods of the sea, I've never begrudged you no gifts. Grant me another victory, so I can make you another offering of me loot. Don't mind me. Fuck, what now? Heard you were in Keridan's band. Fucking say what you want. Come on, spin it out, you arse licking bastard. What did you call me? I'm looking for Yad Keridan. And just who the hell are you? A friend of a friend. I'm looking for Keridan. Thought maybe we could make some sort of deal. What? Our business robbing some Novigrad pricks the wrong way. Plowing gills. Come on, what are you waiting for? Kill the fucker! I'm not!
Ahora me dicen, no, 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 That quest for, was for below our level. For sure. Meet Lambert at the Nowhere Inn. He who has lived in Show us what you're bringing in. Oh. Oh. Look at the amount of people here. Hey, okay. where's the It was him always all the corpses. Oh. Oh, he did. Who can afford a witcher in this day and age? Thanks, I'm expensive. Okay. And remember, never be treated Nothing to it. Sammy Reese. Nowhere in. What the hell took you? Pretty likely Keratin lives in Novigrad, and he never severed ties with Hammond. They're actually in business together. Hmm. Learned something too. He trades in, uh, live goods on the sly. Owns a ship called the Pearl of the Coast. Runs between here and Skellige. Changed his name too, to Roland Truger, who officially is a respected Novigrad trader and philanthropist. Has a residence in Gildorf. Anything on Salise? Hmm. Well, didn't have you there to stand up for her. All right. Let's pay Keratin a visit. I think I know how to get in. I got a plan. If your plan doesn't include dealing with an escort of guardsmen, best revise it. Calm now. Let them start it. You're expected. Come in. Interesting. Make yourselves at home. Are you a witcher too? He's a witcher. Very true. Allow me to introduce my wife Letitia and my two little tots. You know who I am, and I've heard of you. You've been asking many questions about me. That always draws my attention. What school do you come out of? That of the cat. So few of us left. Witchers can't have children. But they can have wards. Or take in a woman along with her children, embrace them as their own. I could understand a witcher becoming a hired assassin, but a merchant? Why ever not? Not one among us doesn't dream of changing our life. I simply did not stop at dreaming. They say no witcher has ever died in his bed. I aim to be the first. Remains to be seen. My friend needs to talk to you. That's... Take the children and Letitia and leave us. Our guests wish to speak to me. Oh. W burp. I'm all ears. Talk to him, Geralt. If I do, first word he says to me, I'll lose it and throttle the fucker. Remember Aiden? A witcher. Murdered in Elander. Guessing the killers were paid well. 
I remember him as I remember all the others, with the deepest regret. Yet Aiden was different in a way. Contrary to rumor, we did not set out to kill him. We were forced to when he attacked us. What's your version of this story? Aiden had accepted a contract to lift the curse from the Duke's daughter. He took the coin, bungled the job, then left once the girl passed on. You lie. We were not to kill him. We were debt collectors. He'd spent the coin already, so we demanded his swords. When he refused, tempers flared. Vienne, positioned as a sniper, lost her nerve. Hit Aiden square in the eye. Later, she devised her own version of the story. To silence her guilt, I expect. I've heard enough. What now? You've changed. You have. Forgiveness. It's my sole aim now. You're buying this bullshit? Bastard's lying his ass off. Do what you want, Lambert. Your friend, your vengeance. Been waiting a long time for this. And I don't aim to die. Okay, motherfucker. Thanks for your help, Geralt. You're welcome. Want to talk about it? No. See you later. Someday. So long, Lambert. I didn't want to kill him. Lambert wanted to be on so I did what Lambert wanted to do. You know? I gotta grab some more water and take a piss. I'll be right back. Alright, we're back. I'll tell you. I'll tell you where the loot's at. <laughs> Your mate split the loot between I'm taking Uma. There ain't a... Sergeant Hartle said I could. Bring him back though, won't you? Be awful dull without him. No. Not about to bring him back. Open the door. Now. That's an unfortunate hairline. <laughs> hey, little guy. This here is Roach. She'll take us to Kaer Morhen. Well, come on. Quit playing around. 
Let's go. Looks like we got company. Elf Guardian battle mounts. What do you want? The Emperor's displeased with you. Then he ought to ask somebody else for help. The Emperor does not ask anyone for anything. You will ride with us to Vitsima. Sure about that? Don't even try. Fine. Lead the way. Which book? And the third army will sweep in from the west to take Banglin. If I may, Your Imperial Majesty, our spies report that the garrison at Banglin consists almost wholly of mercenaries. Bribery, then. We stand to lose exactly no men in battle. And we stand to lose less time. Very well. Give the orders. Then set sail. As you wish. At once! Your Imperial Majesty, Yennefer. I did not have you brought here for an exchange of courtesies. Report. As you wish, Your Majesty. Siri. Well, this. Man is the key to finding her. Yo mama, yo mama, mama. Yo mama. I give you three solid leads. Trails as fresh as morning dew. The aid of my spies and my court sorcerers. Yet in my daughter's stead, you bring me this... monstrosity? I hope you have more to say. For your sake. Listen, I'm looking for a needle in a haystack. A needle that at any moment can... It's a difficult task, I know this. What of it? Listen to me. I rule the largest empire the world has ever known. I wage a war against the North, command men in tens of thousands, while at home the trade corporations and nobles seek to depose me. You cannot expect me to pity you the difficulty of your task. I pursued those leads you gave me. Siri first reappeared in Skellige with a mage, an elf. Yen knows more. The Wild Hunt tracked them down, found them there. They were forced to flee to Velen. Where they were separated. Siri spent some time with a local warlord, a self-styled baron who... Yes, yes, I know my bosses. ...who helped her get to Novigrad, where Siri <laughs> crossed some of the city's underworld bosses. She had to flee, went back to Skellige, ran into her elf companion there. And into the wild hunt, again. Siri and the elf fled, out to sea this time. Their boat returned to shore the next day, with only him on board. Hmm. The information appears of little use, though at least it seems you kept busy. This monstrosity might well be your daughter. Its body is the product of a curse someone hides inside it. Can you lift this curse? I've done a great deal of research, made inquiries, but to lift it, I would need to know the words used to cast it, and that. Raphael Elen, Kedmil Fali, Gladiv Don Eptened, Bandro Ithne Iacus. Memory. Girl's noodle is on point. Lion told me. Siri talked to him about it. At last, you provide a pleasant surprise. Lady Yennefer, my question stands. Yes. I, I believe I can. But I must... The details do not interest me. Geralt, you've achieved precious little, yet admittedly more than the bumblers in my spy corps have. I give you half the promised reward. You will receive the other 
when you bring me Siri. Four thousand gold. Wouldn't count on that happening. That was no request, it was an order, Geralt. And I advise you well, do not disobey me. This audience is over. Till the next. Could have used some of that famous biting wit of yours. Where'd it disappear to? I mean, you were meek as a novice at Aratusa called into the Dean's office. I merely know when I can indulge my pride and when I must swallow it. Unlike some others, I know. Ah, I see. So you show your claws to me because I'm a lowly witcher, but- Do you really wish to do this now, Geralt? That's not what I wanted to do. We can fight another time, in another place. I mean, the yeah, walls have no my bad. Ears. I should not press that option. So, how do we lift Uma's curse? We must take him to Kaer Morhen. Oh, and Geralt, forgive me, but I'm unable to teleport you, Uma, and Roach, so... Don't worry, we'll ride there. Never did like teleporting. Take care of yourself. Wait. Here, probably better if you keep it. Of course. I'm off. His long search for Siri led Geralt to conclude we know this. Uma, the ugliest man alive and the victim of we a know curse, this. is the key to Care more. Had a dragon? Fork tails this close to the fortress? Someone's been slacking off. journey how was it calm if you don't count the forked tail that flew over our heads a few miles back passenger got a little restless <laughs> mm. what have we here multiple deformities eyes ears nostrils a hair lip and is this <laughs> now now calm down Jennifer was right on one count thing sure isn't pretty Don't look all that nice yourself. How'd you get so dirty? Huh? Ah, this. I was mixing some lime for the mortar. Need to patch up the walls before they crumble. A lot of work for one person. Lambert and Eskel not willing to help? Don't see the sense in it? No. Yennefer found more important things for them to do. Yen's here already? And how? Huh. You two argue? Geralt, I understand she's a... Well, how do I put this? Emancipated, strong-willed woman. But do manners count for nothing? She teleports in, not even a nice to see, jumps right into a we've a curse to lift, there's this to do and that. So Eskel and Lambert get going. Then she went to the guest room to rearrange things through the bed off the balcony. Shame. That was a good bed. Said the same myself. Solid oak frame, down mattress. Triss always said she... Ah, now I see. 
It's either that, or Yen really hates oak furniture. So what's Yen planning? Wish I knew. You mean she didn't tell you? She told us what she needs to lift the curse, not what she plans to do with it, despite our asking. She's gotta have a good reason. Huh. More than one, most likely. In any case, she's set her mind on something. Needs us to stay out of her way, mostly. So where is everyone? Eskel's hunting fork tails. Gotta nip that infestation in the bud. And since Yennefer needs to distill some ingredients from their organs, well, like they say, two birds, one stone. Lambert's still in the keep, preparing to venture into the mountains to enrich the phylactery with elemental power. Mm -hmm. And Yen? Assembling a megascope. Wanted my help, running around with some chirping contraption, searching for something. But I'm too old for that nonsense. I should let her know I'm here. If you say so, but don't go thinking she'll throw her arms around your neck. Let's talk the end first. God damn it, you piece of shit! Oh. <laughs> Damned crystal! <laughs> you decide to blow us up? Geralt, I'm sorry, but I'm in no mood for jests. What's eating you? Let me think. That was the third crystal to explode. It's been a week, and Lambert's still not done what I've asked. Vesemir spitefully insists on repairing the wall just beneath my window and starts hammering at the crack of dawn, while Eskel seems to have gone mushroom picking, not forktail hunting. The guys. Well, they're not exactly happy with you. Hmm? Why is that? Because... You aren't willing to say what you're planning. You're treating them like pages, not including them. Us, actually, because I feel that way too. I shall explain everything when the time is right. First, we must finish our preparations. Heard about the bed. Really prefer to sleep on the floor? Wouldn't recommend it. That stone can get awfully chilly. Frankly, I prefer a chill to bedding littered with red hair. So upset about Triss, you gotta take it out on the furniture? Would you prefer I take it out some other way? Geralt, I don't want to seem like a vindictive shrew, but that very bed is where you just happened to fuck a dear friend of mine. Yes, I know, you'd lost your memory, whatever. Let us agree that I will refrain from scolding you while you will stop mentioning that stupid bed. Agreed? Agreed. Agreed. Splendid. On to more pressing matters. No trust us? <laughs> you got trust issues with us? No. Actually, I fear you don't trust me. So I'd rather keep certain things secret for the time being. Pretty tortured logic. It may seem that way now, but you'll understand in time. Fine. What do I do? Firstly, help Askel and Lambert. One was supposed to get me Forktail spinal fluid. The other was to fortify the phylactery with elemental power. I've yet to see anything from either of them. All right, I'll talk to them. Anything else? Yes. There's one other trifling matter. As you saw, my megascope's acting up in rather spectacular fashion. I'm certain there's an energy source nearby, generating disturbances, making the crystals malfunction. We must find it and neutralize it. Quickly, I must contact someone. It's urgent. All right. How do I find the source? Use this Potesta Quisitor. Potesta... Potesta Quisitor? Sounds fancy. Complicated. Yet it's ever so simple. Grasp it firmly, move it around, and the louder it squeals, the closer you are. Spare me your juvenile wit, please. Well, what are you waiting for? Ah, one more thing. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Geralt. What's the items? Nothing here.
Find the source of the magical disturbance you the this inquisitor. Let's go. That's a long way down. Talk. So long. Ah, getting warmer. Mounted witchery warmer. just never took off. Hot. Look. Like that? Pretty, isn't it? Afraid of silver. Hold this. We found it. Disturbance is coming from there. What's in these crates? Dimeridium bombs. Lambert made them. No wonder the megascope doesn't work. All right, gotta get him out of here. I can do that. Rather you not make a mess of my shelves, just keep an eye on Uma. Yes, Uncle Vesemir. How goes it? Vesemir's not working you too hard, I hope. <laughs> Thought so. All done. You can go. Now, let's check your conditioned reflexes. Mm, pulse weak, but regular. Pulse weak. All right, let's go talk to Jennifer. Seems to be working now. What was it? Dimeridium bombs. Lambert left them by the beds. Hmm. I suppose he had no idea they could interfere with my megascope? You know, Lambert's not exactly an expert on megascopes, so... Please. Lambert is mean, not stupid. But no matter. More importantly, I shall finally be able to contact Ida. The Ida? Elvin Sage? What do you want from her? Stay and you'll learn for yourself. Members of the Lodge don't let just anyone in on their secrets, or so I've heard. 
Consider it a token of our trust. Now let's begin. And Geralt, behave, please. Didn't you just say you trust me? Stop twisting my words. Kednell Yennefer at Vengerberg. Gwynblade? Kednell and Severn. Why have you summoned me? We've come up against a curse. One we must lift. It was uttered in a dialect of elder speech unfamiliar to me. I see. The words of the curse? Vafel Elaine, Ked Mil Foli, Gledev Don Eptenid, Bondro Isne Iacus. Recognize the dialect? Lathan Undod. Meaning? The so called One Speech, a forgotten language dating from before the migration. The migration? Later, Geralt. Take it you've heard the words before. Yes, in legends, of the kind that do not end happily. Can you help us, with the curse? To a degree, Agnes de Glanville's incantation, combined with Elder's Triangle, inverted, of course. They are your only possible recourse, but I cannot guarantee that even they will suffice. Thank you, Ensevern. Vafel. That does not conclude our conversation. Let me guess. You want something in return. If I may, Gwynblade, I'd like to request. Stop guessing. Just listen. The time of the white frost and white light is nigh. And the world will perish amidst ice. I know Ithleen's prophecy. I don't doubt you know it, but do you understand it? The Elder Blood can initiate the final age, the time of the end, or stop it. Remember this, Gwynblade, for you will be the one to determine if the seed bursts into flames. What was that about? The migration? Good gods. Did they teach you no history here? No. Vesemir figured sword work could be more useful on the path. Gonna answer me? Naturally. One's never too old to learn. The Ense and the NN elves were once one folk, the N Undod. Then came a cataclysm. No one knows its nature. The N Undod were forced to leave their world. They split along the way. So if Uma's curse was uttered in this lath and Undod... Then it's old. Very, very old. Any idea what she was talking about? Siri, of course. Wish everyone would just leave her the hell alone. Wouldn't count on it. All in all, interesting conversation. What now? You can start by apologizing for acting like a boor. Despite my asking you not to. I'm sorry. It's just when Ida started in with that patronizing tone... You decided to prove she was completely justified to adopt that attitude. Well done, Geralt. Bravo. Oh, oh enough. Finish whatever it was you and the boys were planning to do. Then we'll begin. 600 XP points. Quest pamphlet is... No, 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 Don't fall, don't fall down. Don't fall down now. What's this? Brewing potions? No. Booze from potato peels. Hmm. For my welcome back feast? Actually, more like my farewell feast. Haven't heard? Madame Sorceress has requested I fortify the phylactery with power from the Circle of Elements. Says it's essential to lifting the curse from that monstrosity of yours. Realize that monstrosity, as you put it, might be Siri? Yeah, I heard. Mind showing a bit of sympathy? I call him like I see him. That's how I am. Know what? Never mind. Not gonna argue with you. Right. No time to lose. The monstrosity awaits. Lambert. Oh, 
sorry. The potential Cirilla. Don't sound too thrilled about all this. I'm not. You know the trek to the Circle's no walk in the park. In more ways than one. Let me go with you. Well, might have more spring in my step with the famous white wolf at my side. So, you ready? No reason to wait. Let's go. Oh, meant to tell you. Can't get to the circle through the mountains. Rockslide blocked the pass last spring. So we approach from the pond side, like when we did the trial of the medallion? Exactly. Remember the way? Not easily forgotten that. He who returns with his medallion will prove himself worthy and may set off on the path. Vesemir ever hear you impersonate him? <laughs> yeah. Old man can't stand. Savola's breach. Still haven't patched it up? Vesemir'd like to. Doesn't bother me, though. Not expecting anyone to lay siege, and... This way I got a shortcut to the pond. Shame those Salamandra assassins didn't punch a few more holes in our walls. Or finish the job and reduce these ruins to rubble. I Lamberlin follow followed. Interesting. Look at the scenery. Been thinking. Are we gonna swim across the pond? No, I got a boat moored there. You know, for fishing. Wow. Never took you for the fishing type. I use bombs. I drop them in and scoop up whatever floats to the surface. Smart, I guess. I had a relative who used this uh, fish with dynamite. Hmm. That makes sense. Damn harpies. I Lambert lead the way. Well, well. Color me impressed. Where'd you learn them tricks? It's an art. Learned it from this old master down in Zaracania. Yeah. Save that tale for your next sorceress. Tell me about Vesemir. Things any better between you? Seems so. Old man's drop the moralizing, and I try not to piss him off too often. Mm -hmm. Working out well? Moderately. Castle's pretty big. Easy to stay out of each other's way. Excited hood. Taking a boat? Damn it. Moored it right here, I swear. Line must have come loose. Really? Here I thought the boat untied itself to go for a jaunt on its own. In this fog, we'll never... There a storm before I arrived? Let me think. Yeah, five days passed. Mm. Wind must have grabbed the sail, tugged the boat off its mooring. Boat drifted into the bushes. And the boat? Well, which of medallion vibrated?
Let's dance. Was that a red mocha gem? entrance is just opposite see it gotta sail across the pond go through the cave climb trolls head and we're there doesn't seem like such an ordeal now does it no still gives me the shivers though you know only two boys returned from my group you were the ones who ran into old spear tip in the caverns right mm-hmm that's still gnawing at you gnawing no straight old pisses me off what the fuck was that trial for? Most who returned from the Circle of Elements died within a year in some swamp, hunting drowners for Crown 30 ahead. So exactly what was the point? Ought to ask Vesemir. Oh, I have. Many times. Believe you me. Let's go. Jump in the boat. All right. I'm taking the tiller, though. Because? Because it's my boat, not up for discussion. Not up for discussion. Get in the boat. Hold on, can I? Uh... Do I have skill points? Yeah, something you don't like about it? Besides the water up to our ankles? Nothing. Quit whining. It'll make it across the lake. Provided we don't smash into something first. Barely see the tip of my nose. This is nice, peaceful. Fog's thick as curdled milk. Never took you for a poet. Oh, but I am one. Want to hear a limerick? Sure. Lambert, Lambert, what a prick. Not bad. Lambert, Lambert, what a prick. Prick. Fall off a bit. Sails fluttering. Don't teach your grandma to suck eggs. Wait. Right, almost there. Sir, we almost there. Ready for the caverns? Almost. Before we go inside. Ugh, drink a dose of cat, I know. Any more words of wisdom? Like, step softly or you'll wake old spear tip? Old spear tip still down there? Yeah, he is. Unless he's done us a favor and killed over on his own. Could come at us at any moment. How'd the rhyme go? Old spear tip's a deep sleeper. Wake him up and you'll sleep deeper. Come on. Help! Help! Hear that? Sounds like a kid. 
You know this valley's uninhabited except for us. It's gotta be an illusion. What if it's not? <sighs> Whatever you want to do. We should investigate. 